Now that we've discussed the tools, we're going to begin inking. I've also already done a couple preliminaries to see how we're going to go. So I'll start off here, the top, and I'm using my uh, Ahab pin here. I'm going to let this uh, dry overnight, let the ink get good and dry, because then I'm going to go over with marker. Recently, I discovered uh, Uhuhoo markers that a relative of mine has. Again, it was present then. I ended up actually deciding that I wanted to try them out, and they're actually pretty decent. But as the case, as is the case with most alcohol markers, you're gonna have to really uh, have a thick paper because this ink is gonna go right through it. It's gonna get the uh, kind of like my interpretation here. I'm just, Doing the best I can. So the ink is really good ink. It just goes right down. And this pen is a very comfortable pen to work with. So I'm pretty happy on that. I don't know, maybe some people might complain about the size, but I've never had an issue with the uh, pen on that front. I don't have the smallest hands, which is probably a plus for me. That's what I've discovered, at least, on doing this. I'm certain people out there like, oh no, he's not using a uh, G pen, but I'm absolutely fine with that. Uh, I would encourage people to also check out because the Noodler's Ink, because it is local, you can get it. You're not gonna be stuck waiting and maybe specialty stores carry the, the Japanese inks like the uh, deleter. I'm not saying they're bad ink, I'm just saying they might not be the most readily available. I mean, noodlers, you've got to go to fountain pen specialists, which are, thankfully there's a bunch. And this ink also helps keep your neighbors employed because it's made here. So it's kind of a plus. There we go. The fountain pens come in different weights, so that helps. I don't know if anyone remembers watching Clumbo, but he was always very disheveled in appearance. So that kind of helps. You don't have to be depicting him as neat as a pen, because he really wasn't. But then again, that's why people always took him for granted, and he caught them. That spot a little ink, but that's okay. End of the page does that. If I were being really fancy, I'd have this out of the pad and taped down. But that's okay. This is just for fun. Household and ruffled raincoat or overcoat he wore constantly. There we go. The lapels. The nice part is when this is all dry, we'll be able to erase the pencil and be left with the ink work, which is a good thing. You don't have to use a light table, anything like that. Some people put in line work for shadows. I'm just gonna do that with color, so I'm just gonna kind of skip that feature, that uh, technique. Put some lines here for his wrinkled coat. If anyone hasn't seen Colombo, I recommend watching it on Netflix. It's a fun series. Stuck up collar there.
I wonder now with the way things are, Columbo was a uh, known uh, cigar smoker that if they would allow that on the air, someone you would allow a character to be a smoker on TV anymore. Fill that in better with color. When I get my markers, I ordered some of the Ohuhus. I didn't think I would because the alcohol markers tend to smell really bad. I mean, really bad. But thankfully, the Ohuhus do not. Either of my sinuses are shot. I don't know which it is. So that is my inking right here. To do one more thing, which would be the ears. Be very careful not to touch where you've inked because it is still wet. Very careful here. Okay. Now for the area of his beard, which he's always never seemed to be the most sha shaven person. I don't know if he was so good at his job that he never got any rest and being constantly called out. So we're gonna use my uh, preppy fine or finer tipped fountain pen, which we will give it a try. Here, there we go. This is like a zero two nib, which would be really fine. We're just gonna put his whiskers in. So we'll just do that. this and we're going to use that little fine point which doesn't put down as much ink as my Ahab. New hardest thing in the world to draw whiskers. So I'll probably do some shading over that area anyway when I get the colors but we'll just use my ultra fine pen to do this. If anyone wants to dabble with the uh, fountain pen, the uh, Platinum Preppy 03 nib is pretty decent. Especially if you want to go with something really nice, like that Pilot Metropolitan. Finish off one ear. Few more details up here. All right. Go. Now we're ready to do some ink color work when my other supplies get here. The end result here is that ink picture. When I said we'll do some in here, will the shadow here in the eye will be black, but I will do that later because otherwise, when I do the erasing. Any excess ink might get smeared. But otherwise, just like this, when it dries, you're good to go. You can erase all the uh, pencil marks. And that was a uh, type of inking. Once we get a few more details in, we'll set this aside and wait for our other supplies and do the coloring next time. And this was inking with a Noodler's Ahab.